Bishop Jun, maraming salamat na nandito ka ngayon para maging ubispo. Salamat sa pagtanggap mo ng biyaya at misyon ng paglilingkod bilang ubispo. The Dominicans began to produce bishops for the church not long after the death of the founder, St. Dominic, who died in 1221. Within a little more than 10 years, the sons of Dominic were becoming bishops in the church, serving the church by being preachers, preachers of the faith as bishops. Here in the Philippines, the first Dominican bishop was the first bishop of Manila, Domingo Salazar. Bishop Jun chose the Episcopal motto Misericordiam Dei et Vestram, which means God's mercy and yours. This line was actually Bishop Jun's response on the day that he professed his religious vows as a Dominican. It was his response to the question, Quid queritis? What do you see? And then the question is asked, as he himself asks, Why me? Or maybe we also ask, Why him? And the answer is, We don't know. We don't know why. Because the call to be a bishop is a call from a merciful God. That is why Bishop Sipalay has chosen to refer to the mercy of God as his life post in being the Bishop of Alaminos. Misticordium Dei et Vestram God's mercy and yours. God's mercy and yours. And as you heard, those words are the response of a young Dominican when he's making his vows, his profession as a Dominican. God's mercy and yours. We see two elements there which have been reflected upon this morning. God's mercy, the vertical dimension, God, our Almighty Father, and your mercy, the horizontal dimension, you, the baptized people of God. So the vertical and the horizontal dimension, which are so beautifully expressed in that phrase, misericordium dei et vestra. The original Greek word for bishop is episkopos. It comes from two Greek words, epi and Scopos. From this etymology, we can derive two spiritual virtues of a bishop, seeking with love and looking above. Like the Good Shepherd in the Gospel today, he will use his voice and offer his life in order to watch vigilantly over the flock, seek those who lost their way, look out for those who got left behind, and find those who left out of frustration and despair. Like the Anointed One in today's first reading, He will seek out the poor, the captive, and those who mourn in order to bring them glad tidings of hope, freedom, and consolation. Bishop Jun will be a bishop who seeks with love. Do you resolve to guide the holy people of God in the way of salvation as a devoted father and sustain them with the help of your fellow ministers, the priests and deacons? I do do you resolve for the sake of the Lord's name to be welcoming and merciful to the poor, to strangers, and to all who are in need? I do. Do you resolve as a good shepherd 
to seek out the sheep who stray and gather them into the Lord's fold. I do. Do you resolve to pray without ceasing to Almighty God for the holy people and to carry out the office of high priest without reproach? I do with the help of God. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. The second is looking above. Ang isang episkopos ay hindi lamang tumitingin, kundi tumitingala. He looks above. Bishop Jun will always look up to God. Ang putiki sa kiseme, habang tumitingin sa lupa, ay nakatingala. Mula sa ibabaw, mula sa langit, nakatingala ang Diyos sa atin. Bishop Jun, tinitingala ka ng Diyos. Binib siya sa iyo. Mabuti ang pagtingin niya sa iyo. Hindi dahil magaling ka, kundi dahil mahal ka ng Diyos. Kaya, tumingala ka lang lagi sa Diyos at tingalain mo ang bayan ng Diyos na ipinagkatiwala niya sa iyo. A Dominican priest reminded me before going to our overseas mission in Sri Lanka to continue naming God's grace. Little did I know when I received the appointment as Bishop of Alaminos that grace would echo yet again. Our brothers in the province saw it too, reminding me that this is the path, a gift, a grace. And so it has been revealed time and again, even a moment of self-reflection, a selfie, sometimes doubt about my capacity, but I understand that this is not for me, but for service. This grace is not a solitary act, but a call to build. With this consecration, the call is sealed. The selfies end, and we turn our gaze outward to the work that lies ahead. Building the church in Alaminas is a task for all of us, a shared responsibility. I stand before you not only as a bishop, but also as a recipient of God's boundless love. This love, this love in action which is mercy, found me when I joined the order of preachers. It has shaped me, it will continue to guide me, especially in this new mission. So he brings to Alaminos the eloquence of a preacher, the sensitivity of a formator, the zeal of a missionary. But what is surprising even is that he goes to Alaminos not as a high priest, but as a beggar. As a beggar who says to the people of God in Alaminos, God's mercy and yours I beg for. Welcome to the province of Lingen Dagupan. And we welcome you to the Fraternity of Bishops of the Philippines. We are blessed that you are here. And by the mercy of God, and by the mercy of God's people, we will serve the Lord with joy. Those vertical and horizontal dimensions are not disassociated one from the other. They come together, don't they, brothers and sisters? The vertical and the horizontal and the cross of Jesus Christ, the vertical being, coming together in the sacrifice of Christ, the man of prayer, the man who offers himself to the Father. So all of these themes of God and people, of verticality and horizontality come together this morning on these days in which we prepare to celebrate the most holy moment of the church's liturgical year. Settimana Santa, Holy Week, next week, which will culminate in the death 
and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray that you may always be Episcopos, that you will always seek with love and look above at you, dear brothers and sisters. Please pray for Bishop June and for all of us, your pastors, that we may truly be Episcopoi, servants of God, who seek with love and look above. May the lovely Virgin of Manawag, who calls us to draw near His Son, guide us and pray for us. Amen.